everyone today we are going to see how we will use uh, uh, Apache Axis Jags Jags RPC for calling another SOAP web service so basically what we are going to do is consuming a web service we have one web service running on another server and I need to consume that so uh, there are a couple of examples and a couple of ways we can do using the Jacks RBs. Jacks B we can do. So right now we are uh, using Axis Apache Axis for that. It's an old, uh, a, yeah, old tool for accessing the consuming a web service. So we have a Maven plugin, Access Tools Maven plugin that we can use for that and. Uh, we need to have a WSTL definition also. So basically what we are going to do is we will download WSTL file from the consuming web application. They will provide you the WSTL file and we will include that in our uh, application of our microservice and we, we will generate the classes and based on the classes we are calling that particular uh, API. So what i'm going to do is i have already one api and i have one uh, yeah one uh, api that already defined and probably i will use that api as a consumer uh, producer and i will create a consumer application so yeah, we can see how we will do that so uh, i need to go to i need to go to some of the uh, yeah some of the things right now I mean I need to take the IntelliJ idea first that is of initial step and after I'm thinking that I will create a web service so it should be a uh, it should be a so it should be a new project so create a new project and uh, what i'm going to do is i will create a swing initializer project itself so i don't need to worry about the uh, uh, and it should be a maven also so i keep uh, name something like web service or something service and uh, ws service or something But, uh, initially I don't need anything probably I will add only the swing board so I don't need to worry about the starting an application so here WS service and uh, it started my application and uh, right now yeah right now is the main part the Maven yeah the Maven part so inside the Maven part, we will do the things. So it will take a couple of time, couple of, yeah, couple of, to load my application. So here, it's not loading right now. So probably I need to close and open. So this is my application. So I know it's done. Okay, so perm.xml is there. Here we are going to change something, adding something, and we have JUnit. Uh, I don't need that one. The first one, Axis, Axis, and Axis Jax RPC for remote procedure call. That are the two two things that I need in uh, except Spring Boot Starter Web. So I am just copying that so it will automatically load by by maven so since it is a maven dependency then in the build plugin i have a springboard maven plugin uh, besides that i need to have another plugin also so it should be under build uh, i need to mention the source directory and uh, source directory and target directory so i am copying that to where build so here here i can define this one 
then after that in plugin I have already one plugin for Maven Springboard besides that I need another plugin for our JAXP operations JAXRPC operations so plugins so inside that plugin I'm copying that to there is no duplicate one so we'll go to each of them uh, later and uh, there is some SCM that I don't know we need to have that one web service Java sample project gate no we don't need that one organization so that's only things we need right now so we, are, we can go to this Apache Maven compiler plugin and uh, we have WSDL to Java converter asset operation dot WSL WSDL is our WSDL file and access tools Maven plugin that's a, a main one and we have the source directory and target directory and access plugin access JAX RPC plugin so we are done with the pom.xml file so to make sure our application is uh, up our application is good to go we need to go here and sometimes it will ask for something here but I'm not getting any anything here probably I need to restart once again to make it work so I took this one and I got had as a Maven project and right now it's downloading some of the dependencies after downloading my application will start we are ready to go so in this video we are not going more than just setting up our project so it's just to set up our project is uh, our yeah, our criteria I know so I don't know we have some issues here some issues regarding our Maven probably not regarding the Maven since it is a Spring Boot application source dot Java we have already SRC main dot Java so probably this one will make an issue I'm not sure this one will make any issue so Maven is not compiling right now that's the only problem right now so we are trying to resolve that if it is resolved we are ready to go I am just importing my changes and I guess we are ready to go right now okay so right now I know it's showing some other problems web service application cannot resolve method run java okay so right now we have some other issues so probably some other issues regarding this one try again we don't need this one i guess we are ready to go right now yeah it's related to my setup jdk so we need to set up that everything goes well I can start my application and if the application starts we are ready to shut in down executor service application task executor okay there is some application on my port so I am going to change my port right now uh, server dot port to something like 6262 okay then what I'm going to do is I'm trying to start again my application started 6262 okay that's all for this video tomorrow I will go deeply on this this topic thank you for watching have a nice day thank you